Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Meiji, why didn't you tell me that napping for so long was good like that? Man, I feel oh. really rested. Because uh. I was asleep. Uh, of course, of course. Right. Uh, hmm. How long have I been out for? Oh, the f 28. 28. It, it's 2018? The, oh, God. It's May of 2018. What the fuck? It happened again. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I, that, that's almost a year. Fuck. Uh, shit. shit. What? Eh? We haven't been uploading to the channel. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, Sorry, lads. What? I would've told you. But what? I was asleep. Who the fuck are you? What? When'd you get here? There's fuck? a new guy in the room. Oh, Holy it's just shit. me. Your friendly neighborhood elf. Hanging out. Having I, fun. It, it, oh, shit. Oh. It's elf. What's up, man? Oh, uh, uh, all right. Uh, I guess you guys know each other. Shit. Somebody should have told me there was somebody else sleeping in here. Uh, Shit, man. Uh, okay. Uh, I told oh. you to fucking give me some more of the covers. As, is that who was yanking on him? Ah, I should have yeah. known. I thought Meiji was just I'm trying to be hogging cover him. Stealer. Man. Uh, oh, hey, there's a game running. I, I must have been setting that up to record before napping? Hmm. Seems a little Maybe. odd. But, uh, okay, I guess let's go. Um... Greetings, it's me, Fire B. And it's me, Meiji. And it's me, Elf, the new guy. Uh, all right, sure. And we're uh, playing aviary attorney today, it seems. Hooray. It's it, it's it's bird lawyering. Let's go. Let's go. Let's... I'm loving the art style already. Right? It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. January 1st, 1848. The Chateau Clignier of Baron, oh shit, Rougel. Rougel? Don't don't uh. kill me for that pronunciation. Oh no, it's a poor frog. Is that Monsieur Greenwee? Oh mon Dieu! Isn't it Granwee? I don't fucking know French. Dem, Catherlin, what have you done? Act one, a cat Game. with claws. Catherine. Sorry. I told you, I'm not the best with my French pronunciation. Oh, he seems... It's midday already. Where on earth is Sparrow. that Featherhead? <laughs> featherhead. Who's taking this one? Oh, oh that's Sparrowson. Oh, I figured oh, you were doing it. Okay, you can be Sparrowson. Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to get up. Haven't you heard what they say about the early bird falcon? Oh, right. Sorry, I thought it was the other guy talking. Whatever. We'll, we'll swap off. Uh, too early for worms. Past the, uh, let's see, that's Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Hey! I I somewhat knew the name of a wine that I don't drink. Haha. Uh -huh. There'll be time for that later. We've got some business to handle first. Business? A letter arrived while you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. Eh, it's probably just more junk mail. Go ahead, Sparrowson. You may have the honors. All right. <clears throat> Dear Monsieur Falcon, I am writing to you today because my daughter, Dumb Catterlin, has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. She is being held at La Conciergerie Prison on the charge of murder, no less. Her trial is in three days' time. Yo, Meiji, does that, does that uh, name mean anything? Um, nope, not to me. Okay. Just check. I would be greatly in your debt if you would offer your, her your legal aid. Yours sincerely, Signor Portoir Demio of the Demio Estate. Oh my god, the puns. <laughs> Portoir Demio. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I love it. Let's go. Let's, let's go. I love it. <laughs> well, this is quite something. I know, your first serious client in months. Not just that, the Demia estate is well known for its exuberant wealth. Even if we can't do much for Dem Catalin, her lordship would still reward us handsomely for our efforts. Wow, so I suppose you intend on defending Dame Catalin in court? Um. 
Nah. Nah, I'm not feeling what? it. Uh-uh. Nah. They're, they're, you know, it, it, it's a, a personal request to me, and they have a lot of money, but I'm just not feeling it, man. Yeah, like, I don't need... I hate money. I, I hate money. I hate having a stable job. That that's why I'm that's why I'm on YouTube. Yeah, where's the money pile? Let's get warm. Fucking. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll take it. Sure. Of course, it would be foolish to let such a good opportunity slip through our feathers. Grab your coat, Sparrowson. We're going to find our kitty client at uh oh fuck. The concierge. That place. Excellent. My dear ear was getting tired from all this sitting around. Oh, but I better file away Signor Demio's letter first. One moment, Falcon. Yeah. For Twa's letter has been added to or I guess to your evidence folder. Blah blah blah. Click the thing. Ah, I nearly forgot my wallet. Wouldn't want to lose that. Again, I recall you losing it at the New Year's party. And at Christmas. <laughs> yes, alright, alright. No need to make a list. <laughs> There's my wallet. I can see money. I have 20 francs on me. Oh boy. Right. The francs are now um obsolete form of currency. Very yeah. much so. Let's make a move. I mean, this is 1848. I mean, yeah. Welcome to the map screen. I can travel places. Cool. Oh, uh -huh. I see. Some places require time to visit. Uh -huh. Oh, nice job with the clouds. Nice, really nice effect. So you can't just be hopping around all willy nilly. No, we we can't re we can't do this uh, Ace Attorney style. <laughs> okay. You can literally go to fifty places in one day. With no time passing. I should play that sometime. I think I have access to all the games. I can record them. Might be fun. It's sometime. all right. Right. So if there's a clock symbol, it takes a whole day to visit. Otherwise, it's free. Oh, I see. And it's just on there. Right. A sign on the door leads to aviary attorney offices. No case is too big or too small. No junk mail. <laughs> so we're going to the Le Conciergerie. For centuries, the infamous conciergerie. I've mangled that word to hell and back. Prison oh, has to take the accused and the condemned it's alike. Le Con it's Le Conciergerie. Conciergerie. Okay. Right. It's it's the re bit that got me. All right, cool. Eri. Okay, cool. Okay. You want to be the the narrator, uh, Meiji? Sure. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. That's cool. All right. I I was trying to clear my throat and like the air got caught. It's cool. Go. Yeah. Falcon and Sparrowson step into the stone-cold foyer of the Conciergerie prison. Sullen-faced guards and visitors linger beneath the medieval archways. Ah, the Conciergerie. They say this is the finest prison in the whole of France. The outer walls are impenetrable. The cells are spotless. The guards are well-mannered. What do you want? Uh, good day, Monsieur. I am here to see Dame Catherine de Miao. I am due to represent oh. her in court. That's... That's Monsieur. I am not French, alright? <laughs> yeah. I, I will mangle things you know. as bad as I want. <laughs> you can say it however you want, I'm just telling you how they say it. Right, right. For, for, I'll, I'll give dirty, it a shot. <laughs> forgive our dirty Anglo tongues. Oh, uh, I... I, Your line? I'm very disappointed because now I gotta stick with this soccer hooligan voice that I picked. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah, you can always change it. Fine, fine. Follow me. Not too bad. It is. It is gonna slip every time. I know. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Keep up. I could. I could give it a. I could give it a go since you're already doing Sparrowson. If you'd uh, like. You can, you can do Caterine because like Pork doesn't have too many lines. I don't think so. Probably not. I don't know. Um, I I might actually have the higher pitch voice out of all three of y'all. Potentially. Mind you, go I'm not going to be able to pull off the uh, the you know however the tone is most likely. 
I don't think I can pull off sultry all that well. Not really my we, thing, you know? I could give it a shot. <laughs> we, like, made you do it for maximum comedy gold. Sure. Um. <laughs> <sighs> my papa hasn't forgotten about me, has he? Dame Ketterlin Demio, I presume? <laughs> You've arrived! Fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falcon, and his petite assistant, Sparrowson. Milady is knowledgeable. Don't, don't, don't petite. talk like that, Sparrowson. <laughs> Sorry. My papa told me that he would only hire the best lawyers in town. I am flattered. But they weren't able... Oh, sorry. But they weren't available at such short notice. So he hired the first people in the address directory. <laughs> oh. You see, Falcon? I told you listening under aviary attorney would pay off. Well, if we wanted to do that, we'd, we'd name ourselves, like, Ajax or something like that. That's how they used to do it. <laughs> he but... only got the job because he named it a silly name. Uh, let, let, let's get down to business. Thankfully, there's no Huns here to defeat. Uh, Dim Caterlin, would you... Could you fill us in on some details? Oh, sorry. Your, your father's dang. letter was a little brief. Or is it... uh, I was attempting accent. I fucked up accents. I don't know. <laughs> you might have had it right. Uh, French speakers I in, the, co in the comments, feel free to roast us on this one. Yeah, <laughs> do it. And tell me how silly I sound. I expect the answer is very... A series of unfortunate ac uh, accents. <laughs> <laughs> I can do my best. What is it you wanted to know? Um. Well, Did to you start see with. <laughs> well, well, to start with, what the fuck happened? Is a good <laughs> is a good enough question. Like, all right, all I heard was you're being held for murder. I like. I like the did you see anything suspicious? Because it's just so vacuous and unhelpful. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Like, because I'm sure um, if she's the fucking the murderer, then like, I'm, I'm sure she didn't see anything. And if she's not, then she probably also didn't see anything. Ugh. Yeah, let's let's ask it. Did you see anything oh, suspicious? Fuck. Dame Ketterlin, did you see anything suspicious that evening? Suspicious? Like, um, maybe a guy lurking in the shadows, or a, a bloodied murder weapon? Monsieur Falcon, I do believe you're looking for an easy answer. Well, yeah, there was a murder here. I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to find out that you saw the person that did the murder. Considering you were at the scene... Presumably you saw it, and if not, you'd say I wasn't there. I mean, you you got me. <laughs> We'd like to be home by five. I mean, I know this was before the uh, the eight-hour workday was instituted, but still. I did not see anything. I'm afraid. You're right. The evening was very normal. The food was delicious. The conversation was boring. It was all very ordinary until the incident. I see. Wait! Falcon, you missed something of huge importance. I did? <laughs> Tim Catalan, you said the food was delicious. But you didn't <laughs> say what food it was! <laughs> <laughs> it's so serious on that. <laughs> you and your damn stomach. Let me see. We had poached red herring to start, garnished with garlic butter. Red this herring, I see. Uh -huh. I'm calling it now. Ahem. Go on. Then a marbled steak served perfect bloody rain. Glorious. Fuck. Like the sound. <laughs> what? This can't possibly be relevant to the case. Write it all down. Please. Permanent. 
Sparrow Sin, you fat ass. Fine. Sheesh. At this rate, I should be voicing Sparrow Sin. The bird's gotta eat, man. Red herring has been added to the evidence folder. Here we go, guys. <laughs> oh, I love it. It, it. It's all it's all downhill from here. We've hit the peak. Jesus. Bloody rare steak's been added to the evidence folder. Sparrowson, remind me not to let you talk to clients on an empty stomach. Come to think of it, I did find it a little strange that we weren't given any cutlery. No cutlery? Even for the steak? Nope. You would think that the great baron of Chateau Crignier would have gorgeous silverware, but there was none to be seen. That is a little peculiar. Was there anything else you wanted to know, Monsieur Falcon? Yeah, uh, how did the guy die? Who died? Yeah, you know, decent <laughs> questions. Um... Uh, if, not... that, if we had those, wouldn't the case already be solved? There wouldn't be a case. No, I I need I need to see, you know, the person who died and find because... out the method of death. Those are basic things, man. Dude, it's 1848. We're not exactly CSI. Or... True, but like, uh -huh. hmm, it's a cut of this shape. Hmm, what could possibly this be? Spirits. Witches did it. Which, yep, call it now, witches. Uh, who was there that evening? Sure. At Dim Ketterlin, who attended the banquet that evening? Well, there was me and my papa. My dearest maman couldn't make it. And there was Baron Rouget. I don't know how the fuck to say that. Rouget? I don't know. Who hosted the dinner. And his housemaid, Queen, I think she was called. Of course, there was Monsieur Grigny. Well, until, you know, he died. And there was Monsieur Robitio, the Robinio, the man with the camera, but he was only there for a little while. Hmm. I think that was all. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Yeah, what happened? Uh, what exactly happened on the night of the murder? O outside of the fact that somebody died, what exactly happened? Oh, let me think. It was Friday evening. Me and my papa had arrived at the Chateau Crignier, the home of Great Baron Rouget. My papa sent all ev or spent all evening talking with Monsieur Grignoui and the Baron about business stuff. Business stuff? Well, the three of them own a railway company together. So, all through dinner they were talking about company shares and investments, but... I didn't really understand most of it. But after dinner, this man with a camera took our photograph. That was a lot more fun. Sorry, man with a what took your what? Camera is a very new gadget. A tiny bug sits in a box with a tiny paintbrush and paints your picture very fast. <laughs> In ten minutes, poof, you have a perfect picture. Wow, technology is amazing. <laughs> I feel like I've fallen into another Pokemon game. <laughs> I don't think the lady's explanation is right, Sparrowson. For sure, let me believe. Still, I think that's... the camera sounds like a very special device. I'll make a note of it. Camera added. Now please continue, Dame Catherine. So, after we had the photograph, I went into the gardens to get some air, and that's when I found the body of Monsieur Greenlee. Oh, my... Hmm? It's taking a sec, the, uh, video. Oh. I was wondering if that was still oh, working. Huh? He was all ripped open. Oh. Damn. Is it frozen on your end? Yeah, there we go. It's back. 
Okay. A housemaid saw me standing over the froggy monsieur and called for help, and then the police arrived. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It was such a blur. I think your internet's uh, playing tricks on you. It must have been terrifying. It wasn't so bad. My pa taught me how to be a brave cat. Oof. Yeah, your internet's uh, playing silly buggers on you. Oh, jeez. Was there something else you wanted to ask? No, I think that'll be all. So what's the plan now? The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Crimea and try to see the scene of the murder for ourselves. And we should try to track down this supposed photographer, Monsieur Robito de Rubino. Io. There's, there's extra eyes in those. Two days for two tasks? Seems doable. But we should head back and get some rest first. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Wait, Monsieur Falcon, before you go... Hmm? Dang it, it's doing it again. You can just read it. You do believe my story, don't you? I believe in justice. <laughs> <laughs> I've no reason to disbelieve you. We will have to see. So, yeah, I, I think I believe you for now. Maybe. We have you at the scene of the crime. You could have done it. But it's hard to say. You didn't say that you didn't kill him. You just said that you were found there. That you were there and you saw him cut open. I just like the idea of uh, Falcon standing on, like, a building, like... In, at night with his trench coat fluttering in the breeze. I am the night! <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. That's... That's fucking hilarious. Although what... The fuck kind of falcon goes flying at night? But yeah, sure. I believe in justice. Dame Catherine I believe that a fair trial can draw the truth from any situation. I believe in justice. She's probably not gonna like that answer very much. Yeah. It's a That's neutral one. Good to hear. <laughs> You're not wrong, Falcon, but uh, that's not what the lady needed to hear. You might want to work on being less of a. How to put this? Field de pew. Uh. <laughs> wait, hang on. I, I I'm being insulted here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I uh, I don't know what the last bit means. Isn't the first one related to? Isn't that isn't the the first one based off of uh, something about a family? Like, can you see this, Austin? Awesome? I can. I'm not sure. Translate it for me. Yeah, what am I being called? I only have a vague idea. Wait, I have the internet at my fingertips. Uh, let's <laughs> see. Are, are you also looking this up? <laughs> what am I being called? Ah, it's exactly what I thought. At first glance. Yes, I... Very much. If serving justice makes me a feed of hoot, then I'll wear that title proudly. Dame Caroline, Monsieur Brouille, Ben Roger. These names are all getting a bit confusing, aren't they? Not particularly. Well, it is for me. I'm going to start compiling a Facebook so that I can keep track of who everyone is. A what? <laughs> a Facebook. It's a, it's a collection of people's names, pictures, and descriptions in one easy-to-carry catalog. Actually, I believe that was a thing, not necessarily at this time, but a little bit further forward in history to have it in homes, apparently. Um, yeah. I think I understand. The name could use a little work, though. Sparrowson started compiling a Facebook. 
you can look at a list of people that you've met. You should start so compiling a courageous lackey. What a handsome fellow. Gee, who could have possibly written this? I don't probably know. One of, probably one of Sparrowson's many, many adoring fans that he totally has, I believe. <laughs> Hmm. Right. Ah. I like how uh, the picture of uh, Monsieur Verdley is just like him dead. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's make a move. A new day. Game saves automatically at the start of a new day. Oh, yeah. But you can also make a quick save from the pause menu. And there's a cog or hits escape. Various, you know, concepts that uh, our, you know, brave protagonists don't understand in the slightest. Well, I mean, I'm sure you've seen a cog before. We're, we're well into the Industrial Revolution. But an escape key? He would just think that's a, you know, a secret hatch out of his building. Probably. Or a key for said hatch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where do we want to go next? Do we head over to the there. photographer's house, or do we actually go to the scene of the murder, Chateau Crinier? I think it's probably mm. better that we go to the scene of the murder before they clean it up, probably. Yep. Let's go there first. Fair enough. I think that's you, Meiji. You're uh, narrating. Oh, hold on. It's. Give me just a second. I got it then. Falcon and Sparrowson enter the courtyard outside Chateau Crenier. People with dirty clothes and gaunt faces linger around the building shadows. Dang it. Oh, that's. Uh... Excuse what... me, one, messieurs. I'm trying to. to figure out what the face is. Looks like a... I don't know. I was gonna say deer, but that doesn't seem right. Since maybe there's like whiskers. A, maybe like a kangaroo? Or something? Or maybe? I don't know. Something? Hard to say. Let's, let's just see what it wants and <laughs> move on. Sure. I don't mean to be a pain, but my little girl and I are sick and starving, you see? <coughs> I don't suppose you'd happen to have some spare change. You have 20 francs in your wallet. What will you do? I... Hmm. Give money. Feel better about ourselves. We hate money, if you'll recall, so... That's right, we do hate money. However, money might be useful. Money can buy goods and services. We can't compromise on our principles, uh, Beef. You're right, you're right. But ten, ten francs seems an awful lot here. That's 50% of our money. Yeah. But one might... Well, okay, we've 45%. already been called the son of a bitch already. Let's, let's be generous, I guess. Why not? This is really going to help our self-esteem. Here you go. Stay safe, madam. Oh, wow. Bless you, messieurs. Bless you. Of course, we probably just got robbed, essentially. Yeah, I'm 90% sure we just got swindled. But, eh. That was, pretty, that was pretty generous of you, Falcon. Times are tough. Making sure a mother and child can make it through the last of winter is the least I can do. What am I doing standing here moralizing? Come on, Sparrowson. We've got a business to attend to. Is that a heart of gold that I'm seeing? Perhaps. <clears throat> Falcon and Sparrowson's... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you couldn't see. I can. <clears throat> Falcon and Sparrowson step into the pristine wood-paneled foyer of Chateau Crignet. Technically, isn't that foyer? The foyer. My bad. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this place! Baron Roger must be loaded. More than loaded. When it comes to lucrative investments, the Baron is a legend. 
factories, chocolate shops, hotels, railroads. The Baron owns a little bit of everything this side of the Seine. Is he here right now? Yes. That's the Seine. Isn't that how Sorry. I pronounced it? Or did These I... are the Seine. Those sound the same to me? Okay. It's a mild accent difference. Okay. Yeah. Yes, he's the smug-looking chap with the impressive mane. But we must approach a man of a stature with tact and finesse. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Baron! We'd like a word! What's that? Barrison, you have the finesse of an inebriated warthog. You can thank me later. I think I got his attention. Did I hear oh, my name? Great was, Baron Rouget, property good. owner extraordinaire at your service. And who might you fellows be? More investigators? Uh, yeah, we're, we're police. No, no, we're attorneys. Even worse. Yeah, no one likes us. Not quite. I am Private Attorney J.J. Falcon, and this is my associate, Sparrison. Lawyers, eh? You know you aren't the first to have passed through here today. Oh. Yes, yes, this chumpy twitchy fellow came by this morning. Asked a bunch of questions, then hopped away before he heard the answers. Most curious. There you go. You're getting in a good flow for mm. that voice. Do you know who he was, Sparrison? Perhaps. I have a hutch. Sorry, a hunch. Ha. We'll be seeing him at the trial. Gee, hmm. A friend of yours? Something like that. So what may I do for you, messieurs? We're doing some research on Monsieur Cunri, the frog who was killed here Friday evening. Of course, of course. Such a tragedy. He was a good friend and a loyal business partner. I suppose you, messieurs, will be wanting to see the crime scene for yourself. Actually, yes, that would be fantastic. Well, be my guest. You will find the garden where the murder occurred through the back doors. You may also be interested in the lounge on the second floor, third door to the right. That would be where we gathered for a group photograph prior to the... Unfortunate incident. Man, I have oh. such a good voice for this guy. I'm sorry. It's okay. If I did it, it would be like, oh, yeah, it was one of those. Um... Unfortunate incident. Yeah. Oh, can we see the finished photograph? Hey, not not to detract from He's things, but I'm getting rich super. Guy. I, I'm trying to do something really kind of uppity, but my voice doesn't really do that very well. <laughs> I, I'm getting kind of weirded out by the hands. Not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I am afraid not. It is my, to my understanding that a photograph must be developed before it is, can be viewed. It's a slow process. My own copy of the photograph is to be delivered in three days' time. That's no good to us. The trial may be over by then. Nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, we appreciate your hospitality. Thank you, Baron. It is no trouble at all. I'll be here to see you out when you are done with your investigations. So, where should we go first? Well... Hmm... I suspect the, the room where they take the photograph is going to always be the same. Like, I doubt much is going to change in there between... You know, over time. Mm -hmm. I suspect we should probably go to the garden before too many people mess up the crime scene any more than it's already been contaminated. Fair enough. Let's go contaminate it some more, right? Yeah. This is the uh, 1848, so... Yeah, of course. We're gonna touch everything. Speaking of, click all the things. Um, oh, is, I is there a point and click things in this? Dame Caterlin said that she found Monsieur Quinry on the stairs by the fountain, so this must be the very spot where the murder took place. Hey, Falcon. Do the crime scene investigation thing. The crime scene investigation thing? Yeah, 
you know, a thing where you get all eagle-eyed and analyze every object in excruciating detail. Oh, hey, my specialty. You mean search for evidence? Yeah, do that. That's not a bad suggestion. Wouldn't be the first time that uh, the Parisian police have missed something right under their noses. Right, so I can investigate things. Click on things and we'll look at it in all kinds of detail. When there's nothing left to do, click the X. Ooh. Alright, let's start in the middle. This fountain is finely crafted. It's solid carved marble. That can't have been cheap. I see nothing but water in the bottom of the lower basin. It's a shame we can't see inside the upper basin from here. That would be a perfect place to quickly stash a murder weapon. If the water's being recirculated, though, we'd see a little tinge of red in it, though. That's actually not a terrible line of reasoning. We ought to wade in to take a closer look, just to be sure. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose we should. Oh, I apologize. I wasn't being direct enough. What I meant to say was, Sparison, go wade into the fountain and take a closer look inside the upper basin. Me? No way. If you want to go waiting, do it yourself. I'm a respectable lawyer. You can't expect me to roll up my trousers and paddle around a fountain like a duck in a lake. Yeah, well, you don't pay me enough to justify getting my sweet threads wet. Look, there's only one reasonable way to settle this. We'll flip for it. Flip for it? Yep, I'll flip this one front coin. You call the outcome. Get it wrong, and you go for a swim. So what will it be? Heads or tails? Napoleon face or... Plant squiggles? Oh, boy. <laughs> 50-50 chance. What'll it be? Tails. Plant squiggles? It's called a wreath, Sparrison. Sure, I'll bet on the plant squiggles. Here I go. <laughs> it's heads. Should've gone with the old emperor, Falcon. Gah! Fine. Hold my shoes. Falcon re should, really should learn how to spot a rigged coin flip. I bet it's rigged either way. I almost feel bad for cheating. That sounds like you, Brendan. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> so like you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you're back. <laughs> Had a good swim? We look so bedraggled. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm a bird, not a fish. Do I look like a fucking penguin? <laughs> but I did find a mystery item in the upper basin. It's no murder weapon, though. Is that... that's the end of a cigar, isn't it? Dog end, kind of. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like a stogie. What is this? It's brown and sticky. It smells weird. Don't tell me that you picked up a very wet cigar butt, possibly belonging to Baron Rouget. Correct. But that shouldn't be too surprising. It is his house, after all. I'll stash it in the evidence folder, just in case. Is there anything else we need to do here? Uh, what else? Let's choose something that won't get us wet this time. Let's go <laughs> over here. Another beautifully made horse statue. You know, my uncle once had a horse that refused to eat hay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. Eventually, we realized that it was just filling up on horse stirs. Ugh. Terrible. Meiji, we should have let you do in Sparison. <laughs> oh, we should have. I love Sparison. What's this one? A horse statue. This one has a goofy face. That reminds me of a joke. A horse walks into a bar, and the barkeep says, Why the long face? Yes, yes, we've all heard that one. What? No. The barkeep says, you've got to stop coming here. You're drinking us under the stable. <laughs> I think it's time to rein in the horse jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love this. It's amazing. 
Baron Rouget certainly likes his horse statues. I don't mind the horse statues, but the little cherub people creep me out. Maybe should be waddling, not attempting saddleless horseback riding. Alright, how about the other one? A finely crafted horse statue. The mane almost looks lifelike. Would you say it behooves you to stroke it? <laughs> no. No, I would not. Right. What all areas... What sneaky areas can I... Oh. oh the There's just, just, the, just the murder place. Tread blood on the staircase. This must be where Monsieur Grenouille died. Monsieur? You see, do you see any bloody footprints? Oh, oh, or maybe a name scrawled out in blood, written with the frog's last breath. Wishful thinking. All I'm seeing here is a big sticky puddle. There's nothing to indicate that the body was moved or that the frog was left a last minute clue. All I can make out from the bloody mess is that Monsieur Grenouille was attacked and killed on the staircase. Well, shit. Maybe the other staircase? This is a red herring. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks uh, gray to me. Or like... Ah, uh, they... Yeah. They are indeed most likely kangaroos. Bouncy. I thought they were like deer or something. Yeah, it kind of looked like deer, but I don't think deer have that much in the way of. Uh... So try um above oh, the whiskers. upstairs, like the upper balcony area. Yeah, along there. I don't see anything up here. Try all those doors along behind it, the balcony. It normally kind of. Well, I mean, those are those are archways. Archways, yeah. Sorry. It highlights where you can click, generally. I don't see yeah. any more highlight highlighted bits unless it's, you know, hiding a sneaky sneaky won't highlight this bit. Let's see. Do, do, what about do. the statues in the bottom left and the archway beside it? Uh, statues in the bottom left. Yeah, nope, nothing over there. No. Oh. You checked all the right hand side too. Yeah, there was, there was there was the horse statue there, that there's on nothing. the left side. I don't there's think there's anything here, left. Like on the stairs? Like... No, not on the other side of the stairs. Hmm. And the only bit on the stairs was that little bit of blood over on the left. I guess that's it then. Looks like we didn't get a whole lot out of this. I think we're done here. Good call. But are you sure you don't want to take another dip? We still have time. Don't push your luck. All right, let's go check out the lounge. What? It? Oh. Hi. Hi. Very high up. Second floor. Third door on the right. This must be the room where the photograph was taken. Hey, Falcon. Did you see that? See what? That housemaid totally just did something shifty. Shifty? I think she just pocketed something from that drawer. You should totally call her out on it. Excuse me, mademoiselle. I don't think that's how you sound when you call someone out on something. Probably not. Like, excuse me, mademoiselle. <laughs> I think we've established that, like, Falcon is just very laid back. Falcon, <laughs> don't give no fucks. And Sparrowson gives even nope. fewer. Anyways, who's who's gonna be Kuleen? Or how the fuck you pronounce it? I think Austin's up. Uh, major. I want to do the Baron. I'll trade you if we cool. encounter him again. I'm uh, down. Yes. Are you two policemen? No, no, we're private attorneys. My name's J.J. Falcon. And I'm Sparrowson. Oh, how rude of me. My name is Colleen Duhal. Duhal? Probably. Duho. Or something like that. 
Sure. Ooh, how? <laughs> so, uh, what can I help you, Monsieur with today? We're investigating a murder that took your place last week. Do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? That's fine. Let me just grab a chair. <laughs> ah, that's better. What was it you wanted to ask? Wonder how long I can keep that voice up for. Is there something we should know? <laughs> <laughs> It's like he's got the eyes of a falcon or something. <laughs> you were a little nervous when we came in. You thought we were police officers. Is there something we ought to know? Anything you need to confess? Yeah, something you want to get off the horns on your head? <laughs> no, no. I suppose I'm just a little nervous after all the trauma of last week. Hmm. Griller. This is, this is the time where we're back. Let's house. go. Are you sure there isn't anything you're hiding? You know, down the... I was going to pull a down your sleeves and equate it to the neck, but I don't know how to equate those two things. So imagine I said something really witty there. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a great one, B. <laughs> it's yeah. okay to tell us. We're defense attorneys. That means we help people get away with criminal acts. Right, and... Wait, what? No, that's not an accurate just job description, Saracen. It isn't? Well, what do we do then? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Honestly, messieurs, I have nothing to hide. Was there something else you wanted to ask? Is this where the photograph was taken? We're looking for the room where the photograph was taken prior to the incident. Would you happen to know whether this is the right room? Oh, yes, you're in the right place. I saw the photography session for myself. Let's see, the cameraman was standing... Just about where you're standing, actually, Monsieur Falcon. And where was the camera pointed? Right at the clock above the mantelpiece. The Baron insisted on using that very location. Now that I'm looking at it, something just ain't right about that clock. I know! The painting just really clashes with the decor. I was thinking along more obvious lines. The clock has no hands. Oh, that clock has never had hands in all the years I've worked here. I think Baron Roger just keeps it around as a conversation piece. Well, we're conversing about it, so I guess it's working. <laughs> it's a peculiar detail, though. I'll make a note of it. Is there something else you wanted to ask? No, that's all. No further questions. Thank you, mademoiselle. You've been a huge Wait, help. I have a question. How much does it suck having to sit down to talk to people at eye level? It's probably like, quite annoying to have to sit down to see people at eye level. One, one to a hundred. <laughs> yeah. It's no like problem, yours. Your internet is really choking on you. Damn. Actually, there is something. I know you two saw me stealing as you came in. I appreciate that you didn't give me the third degree about it. Only, you the, see, only the second degree. I'm trying to save up to follow my dreams and... Well, never mind, I'm rambling. It is no problem, mademoiselle. To be honest, I we, <laughs> we have a much larger crime to worry about. Petty larceny, we don't give a shit about. Although I... Should probably ask. I, I don't suppose you've been stealing anything else. Silverware, perhaps? Huh. You know about that? Yeah, I suppose that was me. It started with a couple of teaspoons. I didn't think the Baron would miss those. But, uh, well, yeah. I suppose the habit has gotten a little away from me. That's one mystery salt, at least. I would appreciate it if you didn't tell the Baron. He's been really kind, and I would hate to break his trust. I see. So, where, is, where to next, Big Bird? Well, we've investigated both places. We have a ton of evidence, and by a ton of evidence, I mean a little evidence. We um, know where the silverware went. Yeah. To the main hall? 
I guess, yeah, we go to the main hall Wait. next time. Did we go to the guard? Yes, we did. That's where oh. we got our dog in from. We, we, we'll go back to the main hall and figure out what's going on here next time on Aviary Journey. So make sure you tune in for that. And until then, farewell. Bye. See you guys next episode.